Hey, CES is taking place now in Las Vegas. Robbie is there visiting the brands individually, but I'm gonna go quickly through what has been revealed so far. So first of all, Ugreen NAS has been a long while since they've been working on their AI NASes and people were questioning, are they gonna release it or not? Now the price is gonna be available, release date is uh, announced, this is actually happening. So it comes with DDR5, M.2 slots, 10 gigabit, everything that you can wish for and obviously AI features built in as well. There's more information on computer tech base if you want to read more, but let's move on to the next one. The next brand is Patriot. They are going to display their DDR5 memory and their NVMe SSDs. You can read more about it on CDR Labs. Coming back to Ugreen, not only their AI NAS has a release date now, they also released cameras and the screen. There are two indoor type cameras that are released, both PTZ. And there's also a doorbell that you can install privately in your home. No need to connect it to Ring Amazon services. Your own private doorbell. And there's 10 inch smart display that is similar to Unify kiosk. So you can link it to your NAS and see what's happening around your IoT devices or whatever you wish. Again, more info on computer base. There's also some innovation from Longsys. They released a new type of SSD that doesn't require soldering. It's quite innovative solution from their side. They call it wafer level SIP packaging. So it all comes together in one piece. So this Lexar SSD is still PCIe 4 type. So the speeds are accordingly around 7,000 megabytes a second. Also news from SanDisk slash WD. They are discontinuing their WD black and blue series. Now it's gonna be called SanDisk Optimus. So those are those 850X, 7100, 8100. The models that used to live under WD Black series. So a little bit of rebranding. So if you go to CES, you will be able to see their new models there displayed as well. Alongside with some MC cards as well. Another brand that is gonna be shining there is gonna be Adata. They have a lot of new products released. So they have their USB drives, NFC drives that allows you to lock the drive and then lock it with your phone and some other products. They also displayed micro SD cards there, also SD8 standard SD cards. All this is miniature storage media that can be used in your photo cameras or video cameras. And the speeds are much greater than you used to see, not 30, 50 megabytes a second. We talk about 2000 megabytes a second. Also for those that need to upgrade their PCs with NVMEs, they also have those options. Their NVMEs can achieve 15,000 megabytes a second. So you can find various models there displayed, including SAT SSDs. And those that need memory upgrades, they have DDR5 memory as well. That's for your laptop and your PC. So if you need the fastest RAM, fastest NVMe, they have those Gen 5 models available. All kind of form factors. Also with Trust, if you need Gen 5 solutions, you can find them there. You can read more about it on Tech Power Up. And for those that think Wi-Fi 7 is too slow, go and see MediaTek, they're gonna be displaying their Wi-Fi 8 solutions. If you've been waiting for NVMe DAS box that has a RAID built in, OWC will allow you to put 12 16 terabyte NVMe's inside and run your own super fast RAID. And you can connect to it through Thunderbolt 5. There are also some interesting little gadgets like chargers and backup devices two in one. There's a brand called Koner that allows you to do a very simple backups by connecting through USB-C port. Or some of the models also allow you to charge and backup at the same time. Seems like good products coming from Taiwan. There are also some older news you may have heard already from Unify Drive. They have released their mobile NAS. Really cool thing that you can take with you wherever you go. You have your own Wi-Fi connection, you can connect to it on the go. Really cool stuff that has touchscreen display and all sorts of ports that you may ever need for backing up your cameras or for editing something from this NAS. Also regarding innovations, B-Link has released their new NAS as well. Just a little compact five gigabit uh, LAN port based NAS that is redesigned from the ground up. This brand probably knows the best how to cool your NAS down. The materials they use, the cooling system they use will keep your NAS cool which will make that NAS last much longer. So their new NAS is gonna allow you to have two hard drives and three NVMEs inside. So these are the things I'm excited about. Are you at CES? 
Did you find something that I didn't mention, something really cool about data storage? If you are at the CES right now and found something that I didn't, do let me know because I'm super excited about the gadgets like this. If you want us to cover some brands specifically, do let me know because Robbie is at CES right now and he can talk to those brands directly. So do let me know. Thank you for watching. See you next time.